Overdoses from heroin and other opioids now kill an average of 78 Americans every day. Ohio has been hit especially hard, where fatal heroin overdoses have more than tripled in the last five years. Until recently, that overdose spike was largely driven by fentanyl, a synthetic opioid that's up to 50 times stronger than heroin. But now, heroin is being cut with carfentanil, a different man-made opiate that's 100 times stronger than fentanyl. The DEA confirms to Vice News that carfentanil is spreading and has now been found in six states. Dexter Thomas went to Cincinnati, where authorities are dealing with a rash of overdoses and scrambling to figure out how to stop the next one. Where's your husband? In the car right now. He was doing what? Heroin. How you doing, sir? Yes, sir. What's up? What's going on, man? Oh, great. Are you high right now? No, the 19th was the second. last time he overdosed, and then I think the 11th or the 12th he overdosed, and then there was another time before that. Has anything you said affected what he's doing? No, it goes in one ear right out the other. Just in the past couple of months, there's been this really big surge in overdoses. With the elephant tranquilizer, yeah. With carfentanil. Yeah. Have you two talked about that? I told him it, it doesn't matter who he gets it from. He doesn't know what's in it. But he's like, I know what I'm doing. I know how much I can take. And I said, no, you don't. Five dollars worth can kill you. Let's get you out here. We'll put you in the ambulance, OK? Nothing to be right. scared of. When you decide you want help, you'll get some help, OK? For law enforcement officials and addicts like Brandon, the appearance of carfentanil presents a deadly new reality. The drug is so powerful that just coming into contact with it can kill you. In Hamilton County alone, 174 people overdosed in just six days in August. Just recently, you had a lot of overdoses in a really short amount of time. We had a spike in July, and they said it was probably carfentanil. I was like, carfentanil? What is, what is that? And we discovered that it was a veterinary drug, and it's used as a sedative for large animals large animals like rhinos and elephants. What are you telling law enforcement that finds something that they may think might be carfentanil? We're, we're trying to have them, considering their safety first, say, don't feel tested, bring it to us. It can be dangerous. It has to be handled with gloves. Don't inhale it. Normally, you take drug dogs around, right? You can't do that. Because what if they get a whiff of this and they collapse or they overdose. It could kill the dog. It could kill the dog. Just by smelling it. To get a sense of how carfentanil is supposed to be used, we met with Dr. Donald Neifer, chief vet at Smithsonian's National Zoo. There are times when we have to completely anesthetize an elephant. In that case, we will use carfentanil or some related products. The total volume of drugs that's required to get this elephant to lie down and sleep is in the matter of, of milliliters. For so, a 7,000, 8,000 yes, animal. Yes, yes. So not a large volume. So it's a big deal. Last month, the DEA issued a public warning about carfentanil. Scientists at the DEA Special Testing and Research Lab are helping law enforcement identify and track the spread of carfentanil across the country. We're seeing it in Florida, Rhode Island, Georgia, West Virginia, and Michigan. How are people overdosing on carfentanil? Carfentanil is incredibly potent. As an example, um, I actually have an artificial sweetener packet here. It's about a gram, and I keep cutting that until I get to about two milligrams. So two milligrams of carfentanil would be enough to kill 100 people. 100 right. with two milligrams. So if this is enough for um, for 100 fatal doses. In that one gram, that's actually 50,000 fatal overdoses. 50,000, that's, that's a city. That's a lot of overdoses for a small amount of material. That small amount of material can be bought online from China, where making carfentanil is legal. And it's cheap. A kilogram sells for around $3,000 wholesale, and just $3 worth of that is enough to kill 50,000 people. Because of the drug's potency, Dealers are cutting heroin with tiny amounts of carfentanil to boost their profits, with increasingly fatal consequences. But a lot of addicts are willing to take that risk. So how you feeling, man? Uh, feeling alive. <laughs> Your wife is worried about you. Yeah, I mean, I lost my mom two years ago on Mother's Day. She OD'd on heroin. Uh, Uncle Russell, he died what, last year. And he od on heroin. Well, the, the stuff that's on the street now, though, it's it's different. Yeah, I heard they got, like, elephant tranquilizers in it. Carfentanil, right? Yeah. yeah. And so 
I mean, you know that that's, you've heard that that's out there. Yeah. Um, what's yeah. that like knowing that? Yeah, it worries me a lot, you know, knowing that it's out there, but, you know, it's, as an addict, it's worth the risk because, like, when you do dope, you, you're, like, in this cover of warmth and love, and it just, it feels so good to be there and not here, you know? And, what happens if you die? Finally be free, probably, you know? Sometimes, I, you know, I'm not sitting here saying I'm trying to commit suicide or anything, but, you know, sometimes the thought of not being here is, like, comforting because then I don't want to deal with nothing ever again. You need to stop.